we're doing something completely new. Trying to build a craft which does not exist. We are racers, this is what we do for. We're gonna build the most advanced electric boats. Looks cool. What you're gonna see here tonight is a result of years of hard work, something never seen before, the race bird. And building a model is one thing, building the inside of the boat, there is so much work ahead of us. We are talking to 80 plus locations. We've got to bring the racing as close to shore as we can. We want it to be wow. Something that racing has never seen before. Emotions, feeling and excitement. This boat will fly more than float. Today we are in Austria to visit Chrysler, our battery partner and supplier. I'm gonna meet also some new shareholders, John Deere, a very big group which is gonna take Chrysler to the next level. We have been building the boat and the battery from September. Like us, these people really enjoy the challenges. They really enjoy to accelerate to achieve their goals and uh, the result is, is amazing. Hi, good morning. Hi, Marcus. Hi. All good? All good. My name is Markus Kreisler. I'm one of the co-founders of Kreisler Electric. It's a very, very busy time. A uh, lot of challenges, supply chain, the pressure from the customer, they push us a lot. We are using a very unique technology regarding thermal management, using a non-conductive liquid. It's called immersion cooling. It's really a race uh, against the time. So tight that we need everything for yesterday. My name is Benny Steinke. I'm in charge of the whole tech development. The last months we have challenged with COVID, a lot of delays for raw materials, for e commandants and that makes it very difficult to plan the project. To be honest, it's a big pressure, of course. All our colleagues, they are very motivated and you feel that, you feel the spirit. So we're talking about a couple of weeks and we will have it in Italy to be ready to be assembled on the race bird. Yes, this was the idea and now we have here one of the powerful battery in the world and this battery will yeah, perform the E1 series. We've invested in Chrysler Electric and we're very impressed with the technology and their immersion cooling. We really see a lot of opportunity in this space with electrification. Guys, we are very close and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be super exciting. Being in the same room with our partners, it's actually easier to create a roadmap because you get to see what their objectives are, what their visions are, and you can see they're very much about technology, innovation. So it's what we want to capture. I have okay. a good uh, information for you today. Go directly to the painter. Thank you, guys. That's really racing. I really appreciate that. That's a partnership, really. Yeah. More than this. I'm very, I'm very, very pleased with this. I just discovered today we may have gained two days into the manufacturing in a racing environment. You try to find shortcut in, in order to gain even half a day. So all these little things can make a huge difference. You, you need dreamers and crazy people to embrace projects like this and I'm happy that in Chrysler there is a good uh, percentage of craziness and, <laughs> and, and, and dreamer to join us, <laughs> to join us in this venture. To go electric is the right approach because we need to increase efficiency, reduce CO2. I mean, this is where the world is going and this is what E1 was to represent as a testament of the direction for the future of the industry. My name is Jack Freeman and I have to help shape and define the concept of the main propulsion system, the battery, that converts the energy into mechanical power through the outboard. We've gained to the closing stages of our initial testing, making sure that when we use the throttle in the boat, that the expected power is delivered from what the driver does with his foot or with his hand, and that's deployed to the, to the outboard as expected. Here we have the, the first race bird steering wheel, very sleek and very advanced. We can control cooling modes, power modes, we can have a boost mode button, we can have a reverse button. It has parallels with Formula E, Extreme E, Formula One. We're using similar technologies and control strategies to allow the race bird to have all the advanced functionality of those other motorsport disciplines. With the testing that we've done, we're confident that we can make the boat work. But then what will come after that is uh, months of tweaking and testing to make sure that it is optimal as possible. 
the efficiency of these race birds is much more efficient than anything that has been seen in the marine space so far. If we can continue building and developing and working out concepts of how to make it more efficient, then we're only going to be getting better. We are at the Fraschini that I use for high performance projects like supercars, sailing, motorsports, and now the foils of race birds. So we are in a phase where they have produced the two sides of the foil and then they will be attached together and be ready to be mounted on the race bird. It's an incredible piece of art. It looks to me like a sculpture from uh, Michelangelo. My name is Gianmarco Casiraghi. I'm program manager of the race bird for Victory Marine and FlexiTab. They work exactly like wings. The difference is that the water density is 800 times the density of air, and so you need a lot smaller surface to be able to lift just as much weight. All this vision simulation and all these beautiful strategies transform themselves into parts, and we have to take these parts, get them together in the race birds, and make them work together, and then on the water. It's going to be very hectic, proper roller coaster. This is what race is made of, and uh, we're super excited. We are at the Victory Marine workshop where all the mechanical parts of the race bird have been put together. From tomorrow we will get all the electronic components showing up. Now we have to move these parts into the race bird. It's a little bit like a race, but just to make stuff interesting, you have so many absolutely great companies and partners, but unless we all arrive with all the components at the same time, we won't be able to hit this very ambitious timeline. The pilot will step in here on the boat. Of course, they might be a bit more athlete than me, maybe, and just go down. And then someone will uh, pass the steering wheel, the proper racing machine, and uh, with the pedals and everything, click the start button and uh, off you go. If we were to put the boat in and everything worked perfectly fine, it means that the project that we've gone for is not ambitious enough, and I can assure you it is. So I'm sure this stuff will go wrong, but when you're making something as complicated as this is, it's normal that it does. In less than a week, you will see everything together and ready to go on the water. That's an incredible acceleration, and E1 is about acceleration. We are in the final phase of building something that has never been built before. A bit frantic at the moment. There's a lot of things going on at once. But we have to move fast. Don't film this. We know that the basic concept can work, and now we have to test. 